Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my brand new hedgehog cage. As some of you may know, if you saw my previous hedgehog cage video, I used to have Momo, my hedgehog, in a CNC cage that I made myself, but I just didn't really like it, and I had some issues with it. So I decided to just go and buy Momo a cage that was already made. I ended up going with the Oxbow Guinea Pig and Dwarf Rabbit Habitat, which is right there behind me, but we'll get a more in-depth overview in just a second. But yeah, it's the Guinea Pig and Dwarf Rabbit Habitat, which I actually would not recommend at all for Guinea Pigs or Dwarf Rabbits because that is way too small for either of those things. But for hedgehogs, this actually will do the trick. So it's great for hedgehogs and I have loved it so far. I've been using it for a couple months now already and it's been great. The dimensions of the cage itself are 36 inches by 18 and a half inches by 22.5 inches tall. So in square footage this equates to being around 4.6 square feet which the minimum for hedgehogs is 4 square feet so this is actually just a little bit bigger than the minimum and the reason why I just wanted to include that is because a lot of the times enclosures on camera can appear to be a little bit smaller than they actually are. A lot of people were saying my CNC cage was too small when that was four square feet so I just wanted to include that it is actually the correct size for a hedgehog. It's actually not good to give hedgehogs too big of a cage because they can get overwhelmed. They like cages that, you know, just give them enough space to move around and they like to have a lot of stuff in their cage so that they have stuff to hide under and feel secure because they are very nervous animals. They don't like to be seen or noticed. So they don't like to have like a big open area because they'll feel vulnerable. So this is actually like the perfect size for a hedgehog in my opinion and I also have a lot of stuff in there to give him places to hide and crawl under just so that he can always feel secure. Before I show you guys the cage, it did come with some stuff that I'm not currently using, but I just wanted to show you guys what it came with. First thing, it came with a water bottle which I'm not using because hedgehogs in my opinion, it's better to give them a water dish, so I'm not using this for Momo. It came with this thing that attaches to the side of the cage and you can put hay in it. This is intended for if you're gonna keep a rabbit in there, which again, I think it's too small for a rabbit. Momo doesn't eat hay, so I am not using this. It came with this platform that you can stick on one of the sides like this, and then it gives them a thing to crawl up on top and also something to hide in. I just didn't want to put this in there because I was paranoid that Momo would climb up here and somehow end up falling off and hurting herself. So I just didn't want to deal with that. So I, you know, took this out. This is also another thing that would get really dirty in there and I would have to clean a lot. So I just thought it would be better to leave that one out. This is actually pretty cool. It came with this little fence thing. It unfolds and you can attach it to the side of the cage if you wanna give whatever you're gonna keep in there some room to come out of the cage and have a little play area. So that's really helpful. I've used this a couple of times for Momo just to give her a little bit of space to run around on the floor, but I don't really do it too often because like I said, they don't really like having a large area to run around in anyways. So yeah, those are just some little accessories that came with it that I'm not going to use, but without further ado, let's go in and look at the actual cage itself and what I have in there. All right, so this is an overview of the hedgehog cage. It's a little messy in there because I didn't clean it beforehand because I'm a real ass person. Wanted to show you guys what a hedgehog cage actually looks like after a couple days of them running around wreaking mayhem in there. So yeah, I'm just kidding. But really, okay, so there's wheels down there so you can slide it around if you want to, I don't know. And then what's cool is there's a door here so you can undo these two latches and then this will come down or you can open it up through the top which I usually do by unlatching these two things and then unlatching it right here. And then it opens up through the top like that, which makes it really convenient. So in here, I have paper bedding, which as some of you guys may know, I used to use flannel blankets on the bottom. That's a lot of people's preference when it comes to hedgehogs and what they keep on the bottom of the cage. A lot of people use flannel blankets. I personally just didn't really like it because Momo would try digging it up 
and messing it up and would poop all over it. The poop would stick to it. It was kind of hard to clean. So I decided to go with paper bedding for now. So far, I like it. For me, it's easier to clean. It is a little bit more expensive since you have to keep buying paper bedding. But for me, it's just easier to keep clean and I don't have to like pull pieces of poop that are stuck to a flannel blanket off. So yeah, that's why I'm using paper bedding. And also Momo likes to like burrow down underneath it. So I think Momo likes it more too. It's really just personal preference if you wanna use a paper bedding or if you wanna use a blanket. I might try the blanket out again, we'll see. But for now, I'm just using paper bedding. I just wanted to quickly explain that. So let's just get back to it. I have this little flannel hide and also a flannel tunnel right here. These were actually sent to me by Zoe's Rescue Zoo, and in her box of things she sent me, there were these little paper shreds that I decided to throw in here as well, because it looks fun. And I also have a couple cat toys. There's that one, and this one, just to give Momo something to do. I don't know if Momo actually uses those. I hear them jingling in the middle of the night sometimes, so maybe she does. I have a water dish, food dish, a flannel bed that... I don't think Momo ever, like, I don't think Momo lays on there, but sometimes she crawls underneath it. And then I have a Carolina Storm bucket wheel, which is really good for hedgehogs. It's a nice big wheel, big enough for them to run on. Momo used to never use her wheel, but now she runs on it all night long. So it's nice, and it's also pretty quiet. So I really like this wheel. I got it on Etsy. And Momo, I think, is down underneath here. There's Momo, the grumpy hedgehog. Hi, Momo. Can you just say hi for the video really quick, please? I'm sorry to wake you up, but I just wanted everyone to say hi to Momo. Hi, Momo. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really... Oh, you're such a good hedgehog, aren't you? All right, I'll put you back in your little, your little den down there. There you go. I'm sorry I woke you up. There you go. So yeah, that's just uh, my hedgehog cage. It's not too exciting. What you see is what you get, but it's really nice and sturdy and I really enjoy it. And I think it does a great job at housing my hedgehog. So there we go. So yeah, that's it for the tour of my brand new hedgehog cage. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Check out my social media and my vlog channel. The links to those will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.